Hey you guys, so today we're doing a full face of first impressions featuring a bunch of the new makeup that I picked up from Target and Walgreens. If you guys haven't watched any of those Come Shop With Me videos or either of them, I will link them in one of these corners. But as promised, today we're going to do a full face of first impressions. This is the outcome, this is the end result. What do we think? I'm going for like a sunset or midsummer night look. Anyways, <laughs> without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So right now I'm debating what palette to play with, you guys. Oh, look at these. Oh my god, their new CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes. It's from their Rain collection. This one's called CoverGirl Ascension. These are the shades inside. And then this one's called CoverGirl Revolution. And these are the shades inside. And honestly, I can't pick. Like, which one should I play with? So, I'm going to probably open both of them. And hoping that there's a mirror so I can use that. Also, you guys, I braided my hair. I don't know if you guys can see the back of it. Kind of pretty, right? But uh, the front, not too pretty. <laughs> but we're just going to go with it because my hair is out of my face. And that is key. All right, moment of truth, y'all. And there is a mirror. Yes, yes, cover girl. I love that. So big. I'm able to see everything. Oh, yes. Love that. Love that for us. What I like to do, if you guys have been watching me, if you have never seen this face before, hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. I like to do my brows. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Shape and Fill in the shade Dark Brunette. 420. Now it says new, but someone, one of you guys told me that this is not a new product. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but it has a new label on it, so. Um, and I am curious to see if this is a dupe for my Hourglass Art Sculpting Brow Pencil or my ABH Brow Definer. This is what it looks like up close. I don't know if you guys can see the tip. I'm trying to show you guys. But it reminds me so much of the Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Can't say things correctly. <laughs> ah, anyways. Okay, so without combing the product, this is what it looks like filled in. And no brow product. Now let's see how good the brush is. I'm curious. Also, I am finding this formula of this brow product to be very similar to the Goof Proof um, or just any of the Benefit brow products, which, mm, we'll see. Okay, there's one brow filled in. Wait. And now there's two brows filled in. You guys, I actually like this product. Look at this. Usually, um, when I use an arch, um, the Hourglass Arch Sculpting Brow Pencil, I sometimes have to get my ABH Brow Wiz to kind of define my brows a little bit more. But probably because of the shape of this tip, it was very easy to fill in, but also define. And because of the formula, at first I was like, oh no, this is like the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I'm not too fond about. Kind of like it. Like it's waxy, but not too waxy, if that makes sense. Let me know though. Let me know what do you guys think, but I'm liking this so far. First impression. So, boom! Yes! So next, I like to do the eyes, and since I already opened this palette, Maybe we'll actually play with this one. And again, this is the CoverGirl Revolution eyeshadow palette. Let's swatch some, actually. Wow. These finger swatches, though. A few moments later. You guys, these finger swatches and wrist swatches are freaking pigmented and amazing and beautiful. Oh my gosh. I fear I'm not doing it any justice, but y'all, this pigmentation though, to say I'm impressed is an understatement. Wow. All right, y'all. Let's go in with this palette. All right, so I'm first going to go in with Bare It All and Bare It All. I'm just kidding. I just pack it all over my lids. I'm not using eyeshadow primer today. 
Definitely a little powdery, not gonna lie. Now let's go in with a crease shade, brazen. Yeah, these shadows are definitely powdery. They have some fallout, you have been warned. But the pigmentation though, now I'm gonna go in with Ruthless and put that just below the crease shade. You guys, this is so pretty! For like a very basic everyday look, you could do this, add some mascara, and obviously like finish the rest of your face makeup and be good. But we're not gonna stop. We are not stopping right now. All right, now I'm deciding what shade I should add all over my lids. I'm either eyeing Showdown or a legend because we're a legend no, I'm just kidding oh my god these shimmers I want to use all of them maybe we'll use showdown and just see what that looks like all over the lids all right so now my eyes are looking like a sunset I feel like or a nice hot summer day now I think I'm gonna go in with legend I'm gonna just tap it on my lid to see. This shade Legend is definitely a chunkier pigment than day one. Wow, look at commission. What do you think? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, so I'm not done with my eyes yet. I definitely need some mascara. And that's where these two products come in. So we have one mascara from Revlon. This is a So Fierce a Mascara. And then we have the number seven mascara, which is called the Full 360. So because I have two mascaras, I'm gonna apply them to one eye each. Let's see, are they good? We can compare the two. We'll see. I'm gonna start with the Revlon So Fierce Mascara looks like this out of the packaging and the wand looks like this all right so this is with one coat on it definitely added some volume and grabbed every single lash but i'll be honest i'm not totally satisfied with this now i'm going to go in with the number seven this is what it looks like out of its packaging let's see so, I got it in the shade Brown Barack. You guys, I'm definitely not satisfied with the number seven mascara. One bit. Like the Revlon, like maybe. But this number seven, no. And honestly, I thought this would be the better one. Here's an up close look of the mascara. I'm so sad about the results, you guys. I'm always looking for a great new mascara to try out. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Now, time to move on to some concealer. I'm actually going to do what I just did with the um, mascara and do One Side Cover Girl because they just launched their new True Blend Undercover Concealer. Look how cute it is. And then I'm going to try an oldie but goodie. Well, a lot of people say this is good. The Makeup Revolution Concealer. So we're gonna do one side with the Makeup Revolution and the other side with CoverGirl. So here's what the new CoverGirl True Blend Concealer looks like. Look how cool is that? Oh my gosh, look at that applicator. Love it, love it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure CoverGirl for their new concealer came out with 30 different shades. Wow, look at this coverage. Wrinkles, under eye circles, aware. <laughs> now, the only thing I have to say about this product is you do have to work fast with it. As soon as you lay it down on your skin, you better start pouncing and blending it out. All right, so now moving on to the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I got this in the shade C10. I'm excited to play with this because I've heard really good things about it. Also love the packaging, the rose gold or the pink rose gold. Oh my god, I had like no idea. 
<laughs> this is very similar to the CoverGirl one. This is really interesting. So the top one is the Makeup Revolution and the bottom one is CoverGirl. Oh my god, y'all. I didn't even plan that. I promise you, I did not even plan that. That is hilarious. I do gotta admit, that blended like a dream. Wow, that blended like a dream. But it is on the lighter side as far as coverage. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the Make Revolution Concealer. And this side has the CoverGirl Concealer, the True Blend Concealer. Definitely heavier coverage, so if you're looking for that, definitely like that about this. You do have to work very quickly with this product. Um, as soon as you apply it on your skin. Or is this one? Oh, was such a breeze to blend. But it is, as far as coverage, on the lighter side. I mean, y'all saw I had to add, like, immediately I knew I need another layer. So, you guys, I'm a dummy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation that I wanted to try out. You know what? We're gonna try to make it work. Even though we already applied concealer, <laughs> we're, we're just going to go for it, you know? Wow, this is very watery. Was it supposed to shake that? Can you see that? Wow. Uh, I hope it doesn't oxidize. Um, so I don't know if I saved the look or messed it up completely. But, ooh, this foundation shade is not my color. <laughs> or it's just definitely on the warmer side. I don't know, y'all. Let me know. What do you guys see? Because from what I'm seeing, I don't know. It's definitely on the warmer side. And I have a yellow undertone, a cooler undertone, not a warm undertone. But we'll see. So, now, let's add powder. <laughs> So I did um, an IG video about this. I don't know actually if the IG video is up already, but I'm actually gonna take CoverGirl's new True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder in the shade Banana, which is perfect. I'll be honest, I don't know about the puff or whatever you call this. I don't know, like it looks cute. Like I would love this as a pillow. But, I don't know. I think banana is perfect for anyone with my skin tone, anyone who's tan, then also, or medium or tan, then also if you want to add some brightness to your face, especially your under eye areas. Oh yeah, that helped so much. Like, look at that. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Bronzer, the Color Icon Bronzer, and this is in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. Oh my gosh, is it too light? Is it too dark? They had three shades, and I think I went with the middle one, I think. Kind of smells like chocolate. Ooh, if you own this bronzer, let me know. Oh. Maybe it's just this brush. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Um, do you guys see anything? What's happening here? Hold up. Alright, I see a little something. But, I don't know y'all. I like to look bronzy. That's not what I'm getting from this product. Alright, well, <laughs> enough of the bronzer. Let's move on to blush. So for blush, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. And I don't think this is a new product. I just think they changed the packaging, which is why I picked it up. And this is in the shade Plum. You guys know I usually go for a peachy or more grapey kind of blush. So when I saw this pink blush, I was like... This is new, let's try this. I don't know about this blush, y'all. I don't know about this product, y'all. Now moving on to highlight, I'm gonna take the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner, and I have it in two different shades. This shade is Rose Quartz, and this shade is Gilded Glory. Maybe we should do Rose Quartz. Oh, I wish this had a mirror. Aww. 
But yeah, the blush also didn't have the mirror. Oh, a little intense. Ah, you see that? If this is your first time watching me, I don't um, usually wear a lot of highlighter. So I like it to be a very subtle when I do wear a highlighter. Wow. Last but certainly not least, my lips. So for my lips, we have two Wet n Wild lip products. The Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and this is in the shade Taffy Tantrum. It's this bright pink shade. Then we have the Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick, which one of my besties told me the difference is this is more of a gloss and this is a matte lipstick. Thank you, girl. And this is in the shade Coral Corruption. And then the third lip product is from Milani. Ooh, I'm excited for this because I've just, I've never tried a Milani lip product, so. And this is in the shade Naturally Chic, number 25. Looks like this perfect warm nude. So I definitely feel like this might go best with my look, but I do want to swatch these because I want to see what they look like. Alright, so this is what Taffy Tandrum looks like on... Yeah, I don't know about the eye look and this lip, but I mean, the pink is really pretty. I think with like a very neutral eye, it could work. And this is what Coral Corruption looks like. Yeah, again, I don't know if it goes well with the eye. And what do you guys think about this lip color on me? I don't know. I don't know. Does it wash me out? Let me know. And last but certainly not least, we have the Milani Lipstick in Naturally Chic. So this is definitely a my lips but better type of color. Um, it's really pretty. It smells a little Play-Toy-y. So let me know what you guys think about this. Is this normal? Hmm. All right, you guys, well, this is a final look. What do you guys think? I really like it. And y'all, we gotta do a quick rundown of all the products that I was really impressed by and y'all need to get your hands on, take a second look at it, etc. Y'all, the CoverGirl Revolution eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. I mean, I already told you guys why I like this palette, but y'all, definitely check this out. And remember, they came out with a bunch of other palettes, oh, so I cannot even wait to play with these because if this one's good, that means these others have to be just as amazing. I was also really impressed by the Revolution Concealer. It is on the lighter side, so I think it's great for like an everyday look. And if you want to go heavy duty or you just had a crazy night the night before, the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer. And other products that I was also really impressed by were the CoverGirl True Blend Super Center Highlighters. I did only use um, the Rose Quartz one, but ah, looks so pretty. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, my brows, oh my gosh. The L'Oreal Brow Stylish Shape and Fill Triangular Tip Mechanical Pencil. Wow, that's a mouthful. I was really impressed by this product. Like. Did we find a new brow product? And for half the price? <laughs> and the last product that I really want to talk about that I was impressed by were of course, but we already knew this, were the Wet n Wild, um, oh this is upside down, the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipsticks. Alright, so I did end up taking down my hair you guys. Oh my gosh, I did not expect for it to be crimped like this. What do we think? This is so different. Oh my gosh. Anyways, anyways. All right, you guys. Well, that concludes the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my full face of first impressions using all of this new makeup from both Target and Walgreens. Stay tuned. I will be going to Ulta and Sephora, or I might have already gone to Sephora. <laughs> but give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed this full face of first impressions also if you guys want to see more of this face don't forget to press the subscribe button down below it's red join the family become a bestie and turn on post notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video
Alright guys, I love you guys so much and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!